Okay, here we are back in League of Legends. So queued up, landed in the jungle. You can see the bands that have gone through. The team kind of needs a jungler at the well, a tanky jungler. So I'm leaning Nautilus. Either Nautilus, Maokai, or Malphite. Those are the three that I'm inclined to at the moment. Actually, you know what? Maokai would really be good with our team comp here. Chaser page because I don't really care about dealing damage as Mao. I want this. And since I provide my own CC, I'll take a presser. Chaser page, in case you're wondering, movement speed Quinn, scaling MR blues, scaling armor yellows, 8 attack speed reds with So if you're wondering why I want Maokai, his ult will give the damage reduction aura to my team and increase our cumulative tankiness. So I'm going to be going for a tanky supportive type role here, and unfortunately, since I don't have any chests to unlock, that means I could do another Maokai game in the near future where I'm actually trying to get his chest. So in case you're wondering, once I get the chest, I'm willing to retire the character a little bit while I try to get the chest for the other characters. And as for my ranked plans, I'm kind of leaning towards Memorial Day weekend in the US. So you actually won't see those until the following week, the first week of June. And in case you're wondering why that particular date, main reason is simply because if I don't like the changes they're going through with the game and I finally feel Riot's going over the edge, I'm just going to walk away as is. Whereas for the enemy team, we're going to have the Heimerdinger mid. He's going to be rushing Zerat and Banner of Command, so I'm going to need to spend a little bit of time mid. Now, depending on how he positions his towers, LeBlanc should be able to wave clear those with her W. And I might do an early gank there just to try to get first blood on him so that she can get snowballing. But worse come to worse, if she falls behind, the best course of action then is to try to focus the other lanes. Worth pointing out, Nasus and Thresh are pre-made, so that means Nasus could teleport gank the bot lane. Now the reason why I say could is you have to remember, on account of just being a Nasus in the first place, he's probably not going to leave lane. But on the flip side, I have incentive to gank both top and mid ASAP, because those guys are annoying once they're set up, and if I can get our team going, it should be an easy win. And I might even get a rank S, just to show that I can get it for when I finally do need to get it. As for keystones... Like, I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen to Nasus once this gets changed. If you're not aware, Riot wants to make it so that it only stacks when you're damaging, are getting damaged by champions rather than minions included. That's really going to cut into his sustain, and you could argue go Warlords, it's just he's going to be a little squishy if you do that. But yeah, Warlords is probably going to end up being the fallback keystone. As for our side, wow, if this is very gutsy against Nasus. If you're wondering why, she has to auto-attack to actually get the damage out of this, and Nasus's Wither makes it a little hard to do it. If she knows how to do the auto-attack cancel, she can actually stack this really quick. And I don't know if Q, each of the three hits, counts as a stack towards Fervor, or if cumulatively it's just one. It's one of those things that we probably should pay attention to Riven 2 to find out here. And for our team, we don't have a pre-made. But I definitely do like LeBlanc's Thunderlords. Should give her some potential Killheimer if he steps out of line. And I'm going to grab the refillable potion because Maokai is a sustained jungler. 
people so rarely jungle him these days, they may not actually remember you get health back from your passive. So mana was always the problem for him. And he has been buffed since I last played him, which was months, if not actually a full year ago by this point. If you're wondering why I stopped playing him, he became the go-to top laner during a period of time in Season 5. Pretty much where it was pick Maokai, or ban him, or lose. But anyway, now that he's no longer permabanned or picked, we can try to jungle him, even though he is regaining favor. So anyway, your E has been buffed. It used to last, I think, 30, 35 seconds. It's now up to 40. So it's not really a big amount, but it's still something. So I'm going to stack saplings so that I can kill the Gromp pretty quickly. On account of this, Maokai doesn't necessarily need a leash. He is a little bit like Shaco if he's allowed to set up. Kind of ironic that we're up against one, but yeah, that's how it goes. In case you're wondering, I'm going to try not to smite this. If you're wondering why, that's in case Shaco shows up, I have smite up for the blue and I can just grab that. So I'm waiting for that to pop, then I'll go ahead and use my arcane smash. And recalling here very much is a gamble. There is no now I'm just going to make a beeline to my red buff. Even if he didn't clear the wolf camp, it really doesn't matter if I just go gank a lane and get it going. I just hope she knows to max her W for wave clear. out of my talisman, I actually need to hit all three of them. Unfortunately, Nasus is topped off now. This life was not meant to be. Did he smite the wolf or no? I would end this burden, but it always returns.
gonna smite this like see if there's a ward when I go on Nasus in a second. He may have gone back, unfortunately. Actually, this game, I think I need to get this one just to cut into some of their damage. I'm going to go for boots and a pink ward. Return me to the forest. There's actually a lot of gank potential bot because we have the Brahms, Concussive Blows, Jinxes. Uh, flame Chompers. This life was not I would end this burden, but it always returns. Shit. I don't I can't tell if she's actually trying to clear those towers or not. And as for the damage I took, that's not really an issue. So if there's no wolf spirit, that means he never cleared the wolf camp. So yeah, his little tactic kind of backfired on him there. I don't know what she doesn't understand about this is not overextended. Not by any stretch of the imagination. This life was not meant to be. Power. 
So let's hit this for health. She's falling back, so I'm not gonna hang around. Is she going to take that? Still a little short. You should not defy nature. So he's not doing too bad for his stacking, unfortunately. There is no escape. Your turret has been destroyed. He's got his banner. Her situation, I would have went for a Thieves. Hotline hold out. Oh my god, this Riven. <sighs> Kill him, LB. I guess she didn't notice Nasus has no MR. She goes. Can you chain him again?
thinking this one's over. We don't have a single successful lane. To make things worse, if you look at my kill participation rate, I'm the one driving action and I can't be everywhere. Um, let's go for dead man's. Actually, no. Those Swifties, because this will give me some support against Nasus. I'm guessing she went Zeal first, which means she's going to have no power in any sort of trades that take place, and she'll just gradually fall behind. some help from Jinx we can do this but I'm no DPS. over. Clear his stuff. <laughs> We're back to square freaking one. <laughs> Hoping she can take care of that. there's no dragon or anything big for us to take, but it doesn't matter because we have no objective control here. And in case you're wondering if we are going to stay in this, I have to use my 
smite purely for combat. I can't use it in the jungle anymore. So the root is up to one and three quarters. I don't mind her taking that if she can make use of it. But if she's just gonna die, it's not going to help us. minute mark, which means I'll have home guards when I come flying out here. Even more so to go split push in a sideline while a freaking dragon fight takes place. He doesn't have his Zonias yet, and he's not even rushing one. Just keep moving. to 
pull this out. Nice old. Dead, to be honest. Your turret has been destroyed. We and may lose the block too. I would end this Godlike. Another W. This is warded from the look of it. Bye. Fields, and I need an MR item. She has Abyssal, and double stacking those doesn't really help us too much. I'm gonna wait for the cowl. This.
and that was all my mana, folks. No more slow fields from this tree. And I can't believe we won this. A large part of it was Heimer not really grouping with anyone. And it looks like we get the double explosion. But realistically, we should not have won that with how bad the lanes were going. That was S rank LeBlanc play? What the hell? That's to be expected since I went full tank. Damage taken, that's to be expected. Let's see, 10,000 more than Riven, more than their Nasus. In terms of gold, I actually had more than Riven, but not more than our two carries. But yeah, definitely not a game we should have won. I have to attribute this defeat to Heimer. Had he gone for Azonias instead of the Rylies, he might have been able to do something, but... He just split push and then we just kept team fighting. You can see Nasus has their kills. Ugh. Yeah, he has way too much CDR. Huh. But yeah, um I'm a little bit at a loss because I can't really stress it enough we shouldn't have won that one. But anyway, that's it for now. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.